Hi, today I'll be making an extremely powerful, very high speed exhaust fan from a dead old induction motor fan, low RPM. So here I'm connecting the exhaust fan to the 220 volts AC supply for testing it. Turning the switch on. So that's the maximum speed that we are getting here. It's really bad. So the motor is out and I understand that if I replace the condenser and oil up the motor, it is going to run as good as before but again at low RPM which is not my requirement. So I had to replace the motor anyways. Here I've connected my DC motor speed controller to the motor for testing and uh, this controller I made in the previous video link for which will be provided in the description you can check it out. So here I have reversed the joiners. Moving on to the motor installation part and I have placed this black tape for further grip. It is 220 volts, 4 to 5000 RPM permanent magnet DC motor, 30 watts. And this is how it looks. Yeah. Finally, a big capacitor holder. So here I'm going to use only 60 volts power supply for running it and yes and the connections are fine.
Now, because of the limited size of the exhaust fan and only 30 watts of DC motor, the suction pressure of this mini jet exhaust is okay and not excellent. Plus, I'm also using this 10 meters long pipe, which is further reducing the suction pressure. So, for my next similar project, I will be using this one for the same job. It is 250 watts. Now, for those of you who are thinking why I did not use the induction motor itself for the same job, like increase the speed of an induction motor instead of using another high speed motor, that is because we cannot increase the speed of an induction motor beyond 3000 RPM for houses that get 50 hertz of frequency and uh, not more than 3600 rpm for houses that get 60 hertz of frequency because uh, the speed is given by the formula ns is equal to 120 f by p where f is frequency and p is number of poles so for minimum number of poles that is always going to be two we can get a maximum speed of 3600 rpm for 60 hertz of frequency that is technical detail moving on to the next part where uh, some of you might be thinking that the brushes for the DC motor that I used in this project are going to get consumed very fast at such a high rate. Now that is true, but it's not like that I'm going to use the exhaust throughout the day, like 24 seven. I'm only going to use it while I'm using my welding machine or laser cutters and engravers, uh, drill press, angle grinders. 